I am on a mission to complete Old School RuneScape from scratch. I'm currently aiming for 2000 Tombs of a Mascot, but to push the invocation level even higher, I would really like a Bofa. I've been making a lot of money recently, in fact in the last video I did manage to get a split from an Arcane Sigil drop with my clan. I sold off all of the loot from completing Maze Training Arena, I got some drops of Vorkath including the Avas upgrade which I then upgraded further with the Missouri kit. And I also doubled my bank from getting a whole bunch of purples, including a Missouri Mask, a Lightbearer, a Fang, my first Lightbearer, another Missouri Mask, and whilst I did see a Missouri Top, unfortunately it was FFA and went to an Iron Man. Other notable drops that also happened in the last video was 99 Crafting, my first bottomless bucket along with the farming pet. But with all of that in mind, it just wasn't quite enough to afford a Bofa, the crystal shards that I need to corrupt it alongside the crystal armor seeds. So I sold off my entire loot tab and figured why not just go to the corrupted gauntlet and just grab everything that I need instead, which for the most part means the pet and at least one enhanced weapon seed. Also towards the end of the video, you're gonna see the hundreds of hours of progress that I've made on some other side goals, including one insane surprise collection log slot. So, the gauntlet isn't something I've done much of before, I never really had to come down here on the old Max main account, so this is quite fresh for me, and I have to say, going into this, I wasn't sure what to expect. Because I've heard so many Iron Men complaining about going dry here and calling it the Red Prison, but I'll be completely honest with you, I've been really enjoying it for the most part. Everyone has to start out somewhere, and the regular gauntlet is first, and I decided I'd stay down here for a little bit to get an understanding of how the prep and the boss works. You come in here with essentially nothing and have to make all of your own gear and supplies, kind of like uh, dungeoneering in a way. The prep takes up most of the time here, and whilst it is mostly RNG, there are some things you can do to cut down that time. Like only going for a certain amount of food, or going for the lowest tier of armor and things like that. So for the most part in the corrupted runs you'll see that I was doing a tier 1 prep but with a full invent of food and a couple of egg needle potions. After running a few regular gauntlets for practice I tried out the corrupted gauntlet and unlocked my first collection log slot here being the gauntlet cape. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of it, I think it looks pretty weird. Also, I normally play with game sounds off and have done for years, but doing the gauntlet without sounds is essentially just handicapping yourself, because when it comes to the boss room it's hard to keep track of Hanlef switching attacks with just visuals, when you're already tracking the tornado chasing you and trying to stand on a tile that's not going to cook you to death. In the regular gauntlet I could get away with not using game sounds and missing prayers because it doesn't really hit that much, but when it came to the corrupted gauntlet, well, that's the point where I decided to turn game sounds on, and honestly, I think I've been converted and I'll probably be using them more often now. There's quite a lot of easy CA points to get from the gauntlet too, not just the kill count ones. Also, I managed to get some level ups whilst I was locked down here because it's got some nice passive XP. After a while, I got my second log slot from the gauntlet being the regular weapon seed. Some other tips that I give for this place is installing the gauntlet plugin for sure, it helps out a lot when learning. I've turned off most of the features on it now, but one that I like to keep enabled is the true tile for the tornadoes. It just helps me understand where exactly they are so that I can either just keep running or actually just run through them when they're right next to me. Okay, ooh, corrupt gauntlet grandmaster, thank you very much, I'll be taking my enhance now. Okay, maybe not. Um, thoughts so far? I think I could probably speed up on prep. Um, I'm enjoying the boss fight. I think it's pretty fun. Uh, but I am only 50 kills in, so we'll see how long uh, I can find this fun for. We'll see. But yeah, I think I can speed up on prep somehow. I might have a look at some strats. Ooh, the first crystal armor seed. Very nice, very nice. Nice, uh, how much is that? Four, oh, it says in the clan jet, 4.1 mil, nice. And that's a collection log slot as well, so pretty cool. Okay, so I've just spotted that I'm 20 points away from hitting the hard tier. And whilst I wasn't gonna complete every single task here, I just wanted to get uh, the enhanced. There are some easy ones at the regular gauntlet, like uh, taking no damage off prayer, not making an egg kneel. I think there's one for making like no armor, perfect armor, etc. So I think I'm just gonna do that. So let's have a go. Fill at the water pump. Go and drop. 
this, go over here, drop that, drop that, don't need those. And I guess I could do with some more food. I don't know how much it's going to hit me for, but we can find out. So this combat achievement is pretty easy. As you can see, I didn't even go in with a full inventory of food. I think as long as you pray correctly, dodge the majority of the tornadoes and the lava tiles, you should be fine. You don't really need to play perfect for this one at all, so it's some free points. Okay, the other defense doesn't matter one. I guess I missed a prayer? Now oh, well, can get it on the next one. For the tier 3 armor one, I'd say this one's quite easy too in the regular gauntlet because you get so much time to sort everything out. I managed to do it with a not so decent layout as well, and I'd also say that you don't need to worry too much about getting a lot of food because you won't be taking much damage with the perfected armor either. This one is probably one of the harder ones to do in Corrupted I'd say, but for the regular one this is some free combat achievement points just because you have so much more time to prep. I missed the uh, off prayer one there, I think, at the end. Oh, well, still got the tier 3 armor challenge, so... Oh, no, I did get it. Okay. All right, cool. Nice. That's another two elite tasks done. Easy peasy. Okay, so I'm looking at Wolf Puncher next, um, and it's saying more than one attuned weapon. So does that mean I can use a basic weapon? So I can use, like, a basic staff and a perfected bow... I would assume so. I'm still not sure about these speed run times. I might give them a go. We'll see. I think once I've done more KC, I might have a go at this one. But yeah, I might try these two. Egg Meal and Wolf Puncher. That should be enough to get me into hard tier. So no prayer pot. And yeah, this one's going to be easy. Okay, that is a basic. It's not attuned, so I would assume I'm allowed to do that. Let's get some combo food. Don't I'll need it, but we'll see. This one's quite easy as well. Just use a perfected weapon and a basic weapon. I guess you could also do the five to one method, but because this is regular gauntlet, I didn't bother to do that. Though I may end up doing that one in the corrupted because the basic weapon would barely hit for the entire fight. So that would suck in corrupted. Hey. All right, Wolf Puncher, you can do it with just a basic weapon. That's pretty good. What do we get? Nothing. Okay, so I think Eggneal was next, wasn't it? So, uh, without making an Eggneal, which means, I guess, flicking and a ton of food? Uh, let's find out. Yep, so essentially you just flick for the entire prep phase, which is very easy to do. And I took a full inventory of food as well, but I didn't really need it. I wasn't using offensive prayers, but I kept my overheads on at all times. Okay, I went way overkill with this one. <laughs> I still got 50 prayer points left. I made tier 2, I didn't even need to do any of that. Okay, let's have a look. Hey, nice, nice, nice. Good run, good run. The rewards for the hard combat diary are cool. Increased chance at hard clues, more pest control points per game, boss layer task number is increased, and the cannon can hold 45 cannonballs now, amongst a bunch of other perks. I'm hoping to unlock the elite tier sooner rather than later as well for the increased elite clue chance. Oh yeah, another armor seed. Uh, my heart dropped a little bit. I don't know why. I thought that was uh, the enhanced for some reason. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Uh, but yeah, this is the first one of the day. Uh, nice. That's a good start. Cool. Let's keep it going. Okay, is that a new PB? Oh, it is. 945. Okay, nice. Uh, I will admit, I did die a couple of times <laughs> before that run. So, going from... Uh, really bad to really good. Okay. No enhanced. The grind continues. Number 79. Elite clue. Nice. Man, that was close. Okay, surely the enhanced. Come on. Oh, damn it. Uh, 
<laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh man. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, birdhouse runtime. Okay. Number 100. Nothing. <laughs> uh, we go again. Uh, what do we got? Ooh, weapon seed and an elite clue. Damn, that was a big chest. Now, I've got most of the elite clue steps done, but one that kept coming up was thieving from the Ardun chest, and for that I needed a couple of levels. I've boosted it with spice before once, but I decided to just get the extra couple of levels for it this time, which also puts me at 2k total, and that unlocks some more worlds for me, which is quite nice. Oh my god! I wasn't even... <laughs> I wasn't even trying for that! Hell yeah! Oh, wow. Finally. Finally. Took long enough. I mean, what KC is that? 126. <laughs> uh, well, at least I got it. Nice. Okay, first of the day. What do we got? A uh, weapon seed. <laughs> oh my god, my heart dropped for a second. Yeah, what a nice one to get that level on i think that's a new pb as well 855 and 94 ranged oh if i got the enhanced on that kill that would have been amazing oh that was so good at this point i was feeling confident with a gauntlet and so i went back to the regular one to grab the perfect gauntlet task from that one too and figured i'd also try for the easier speed run time and what was the time on that? 2.37! Wait, oh no, I was, I was read, I read the Hunleth kill time. <laughs> uh, five. Jesus Christ, I was like, there's no way that was 2 minutes 37. Okay, perfect crystalline Hunleth though, hell yeah. Okay, what's the time on that one? Hey, fourth, okay. I'm still like 30 something seconds off being the four minute time, but that's still pretty decent. Okay, let's get it over with. Where's the enhanced? Give me. Oh, man. <laughs> Such horrible RNG on the hits in that fight. Jesus Christ. Okay, what we got? Oh, oh my God, I got the enhanced. <laughs> oh, my God. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, gimme, 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 gimme. I said I'd get it today. I'm going to get the pet as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. That makes me so, so happy. Okay, it's a back to back, surely. Surely the back to back. <laughs> I still had it in my inventory. I thought it was. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I genuinely thought that was a back to back. Uh, okay, well, you know, we gotta keep going. Oh my god, another armor seed. <laughs> Money! I knew I was gonna get one back to back at some point. Now I'm kind of like on rate, I think. If I go to, uh, collection log. Uh, the gauntlet. Yeah, so I've had four now and I'm almost at 200, so. Uh, I'm kind of... I'm kind of at where I should be right now, which is nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love a bit of money. That was a long, long, long Hunleth kill. <laughs> Five minutes. It always took me as long to kill the Hunleth as it did to prep. Uh, yeah, I was using the Howlbird that time. Okay. Well, nothing. We go back in. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh the dog! <laughs> oh, that was that was not good. Okay, surely this one's the pet, right? This this has to be. Here we go. Elite glue. Okay. Yeah, it was time for our birdhouse run anyway. Do I fall? Back to back elite. Okay. Oh, I think that was back to back. Okay, I'll take it. Please. Please. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I hate the stupid Halbert so much. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, what is with the lag? Uh, I'm not normally one to blame lag, but come on. God, is it gonna kill me again? It is. Oh my god, I think it's time to video edit. <laughs> I can't deal with this. This is this is not good. Hello? You just gonna sit there? You just gonna <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, two hundred and fifty kill count. Let's see it. Oh my god, I thought for a second. <laughs> I thought for a second that was another enhanced. Uh okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there for now. I will be back. I've gotta get the pet as well, but let me show you what else I was working on. Yeah, so normally I'd show the dopamine tab towards the end of the video, but I have to show you something first before I show you everything else that I've been up to. The elite casket stack has gone up quite a lot since the last video because they're sort of common from the gauntlet. I also have a massive crystal shard stack too, which will become even bigger whilst I'm hunting for the pet in the next video. And I've been catching quite a lot of crystal in playings whilst in Prif too. But the biggest thing I want to show you today is that the Castle Wars ticket stack is sitting at 7,300, which is in total taking me 892 hours. A huge increase in hours since the last video. I only need around 50 more tickets to be finished with the Castle Wars, but I'm hoping to finish this grind off with all of you in the future with some Castle Wars events. If you want to know when I'm going to be running these events and cashing in the tickets, then come join my Discord. The link should be in the description as usual. However, what have I been doing instead of Castle Wars for the AFK Golem? Well, I've been trying out a bunch of things. My first idea was to do Karambuans with the fish barrel, so I headed out to Temporos and whilst fishing up the rewards I did grab a couple of easy log slots, but I wasn't able to get the fish barrel and I really needed to just start AFKing something. So instead I decided to switch back to what I was doing before Castle Wars, which was Redwoods. I went from 13 million XP all the way to 20 million XP. And it's nice to actually make some money and XP progress from my AFK goal, because when I was doing Castle Wars, the only numbers going up was the ticket stack and my playtime. I do still need to finish off the forestry collection log, I think I'll start that when part 2 drops, but I mentioned at the start of the video that I got an incredible new collection log slot, and well... Oh my god. Oh my god, I just got a stale baguette. <laughs> Oh wow, okay. Hell yeah. Oh my god, that's like one of the rarest items in the game. I think the guy who is uh rank one, rank one for collection log, even he doesn't have this. Oh my god, <laughs> no way! Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I had a feeling, I had a feeling when I saw the sandwich lady. I was sort of AFK and then Oh my god, I saw her, I panicked, I was like, oh my god, that could be the baguette. And uh, yeah, wow, nice. Now, partway through me making this video, shooting stars have been buffed dramatically. They are actually insane right now with people instantly filling worlds. It gets so chaotic that the game isn't able to load everyone on screen. I'm sure you know of the changes, but if not, essentially they made it so that the crash star doesn't deplete super fast when there's a ton of people mining it. Instead, it's essentially on a timer, so you aren't punished for mining with other people. Which, may I add, is actually something I brought up just a few videos ago. I'm a big fan of this change, although it's not without its problems. I've seen a few clips of people lagging during PVM because of the massive influx of people joining the world. There's also some people saying that shooting stars may actually be too good now. Personally, I think it's all about finding the right balance, and maybe we'll see some further changes in the coming weeks. Also, of course, I've been staying on top of my birdhouses for the evil chicken outfit, and I've hit level 97 hunter. I'm committed to getting level 99 hunter solely from birdhouses. Also, I'm always keen to go to the tiers of Guthix and hit level 70 runecrafting, which puts me at base 70s now. 
So the progress I've made in this video should be on screen as well as the next completionist video where I'll be back camping the corrupted gauntlet until I have the pet and I'll be showing off my loot tab. If it's not ready yet, it will be the first video in my new side series which has had an incredible response so far.